Okay. That was cool, man. All things are hypothetical and theoretical in a theoretical state in a world of flux. And, and um, uh, yeah, I was thinking that before I went to bed. I wasn't even going to talk about it. I was going to talk about the more you feed the kid with the mind stuff and stuff like that. The things, that, the stuff that old, uh, what's his name, Eckhart Tolle talks about, you know. Well, the source of the <laughs> actual thing about it is, is you need to talk about things in more relative terms. It's more involved about, it's about relativity, and it's about the, a relative molecular society that reacts to one another in an eternal equation because there's no other uh, time uh, continuum understanding that doesn't relate to things in a relative and an eternal manner. Okay? So, what, you're talking science. Well, yeah, because good science is good religion, and good uh, religion is based on good science. <laughs> Good science, reliable science that makes sense, not a Yogi Chakramakra who's talking about shit that he doesn't understand. I read that shit, that Rama Chakra, and he was full of shit. And what people fail to understand is that I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because I don't have any good science to back this up. <laughs> I'm doing it off of relayed information through uh, people that I think are reliable sources, but they're not scientifically trying to back anything up. So they don't have the same kind of clout to establish scientific proof and evidence that's more uh, reliable, like Muhammad and Jesus and Joe Smith and Haley Selassie and others. Okay, so here we go, all right? No, they're not superstitious schmucks. They're, uh, as I said, quantum physicists, molecular scientists, and human beings that are very spiritual, that understand that there has to be a creative force behind it all. It's kind of like the force, dude, all right? So here we go. And it's easier to explain it. I'm not sitting around telling everybody, if you would just understand, you could be as smart as me. Here, buy my book. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking to you about about as much rational, rational bullshit and trying to trick your mind into thinking that I, there's something after death that I understand better than anybody else when I don't even understand molecular science. My name's Eckhart Tolle. I'm full of shit. I'm no, you're not getting any better from that stupid fool than you are from Joel Osteen. Hi, what? Guess what kind of real estate I have? The magical real estate. With the magic house, with all the rooms you want, and unlimited bathrooms, unlimited magic toilet paper, unlimited magic gardens, unlimited pussy, but no children, but children if you want them. You can be a child one day and wake up the next day and be 21, screwing all you want, the next day be 43, then be an old man and join children, but healthy, and then the next day, and whatever day you want to wake up and whoever you want to be, you can do, because this is the magic heaven that Jesus is making for you, because I'm Joel Olstein and I'm full of the blarney. <laughs> I am, you know. I'm telling you about this crystallized heaven that it, that lives in this little world in my all the wonders that I find in the playground in my mind where the children laugh and the children pay me good money all day. My name is Joe. I got a big house, you know, and I got a church the size of a basketball ring. I sit there and fill people with bullshit. That's what I do every day. I get paid real well, you see. To feed people bullshit, yeah. I am happy to. <laughs> Wouldn't you be to? I think I got money to buy myself wherever I want to go if this shit all fucks up. That his name is Andrew. Andrew coming to ooh. He's gonna have some fun too. He'll bring young men that he's brought into the ministry. You know what they're gonna do. Continue the cycle of the things. They do with the technology it brings. I'm just, I'm not, I've seen this kind of stuff in my head. So, yeah, they, they predicate and never mind. I don't want to talk about it. Why? Because he makes me so fucking mad. Talks all that hate and spews all that hate about homosexuals. They all did. They spew hate about homosexuals all the time. And then they use these programs and this interfacing stuff to predicate off of young men, put them into fellowships and uh, apprenticeships as young pastors and help promote their pastorships. I don't know if you're going to be able to make money. I found the money for you. I'm now your hero. What are you willing to do for it? God set it up. Hi. I've got a hotel room over here. No surveillance. <laughs> I paid good money for that. They're watching. <laughs> they can put a camera in this <laughs> to watch you, dude. See this little ring right here? 
yeah. They can put surveillance equipment. In this. They can put surveillance equipment on a fucking fly. They can put it in this ring. They can put it in the bed in the hotel. They can put it anywhere. Yeah, the, the a regular Joe Schmo needs to your television set, your computer, your cell phone, or something like that. Fort Huachuca. Oh, we need. All right. <laughs> All the wonders that I find in the playground, in my mind, where the children laugh. I always feel like somebody's watching me, and I have no privacy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm having fun. This is cool. I wonder if this one's going to go on. This would be funny. <laughs> People like the entertaining ones. Those other ones maybe I just made were just too damn boring to put on. Maybe these are more exciting, more interesting. People watch these and go, what the fuck's going on? What's y'all talking about? The man is going through a psychotic break. He's just gone crazy. This is good entertainment. He's a crazy fuck. Yeah, I'm crazy. You're just stupid. <laughs> yeah. The hypothetical, theoretical stuff I said about space and things in the galley and stuff like that, there is life in space, and you're stupid if you don't think there is. And I don't know what's going on in the galaxy and galactical terms and stuff like that. Why? Well, because I'm just not in the inner loop of the government. I'm just not responsible and smart enough to be able to have any kind of a, uh, any kind of a, um, a communication with any higher life forms from... Uh, uh, extraterrestrial things. Only people that eat jelly beans and build nuclear bombs are allowed to have access to information that's of important pertinence of anything like that. So um, you're going to have to contact the ghost of Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just an asshole. I need to quit that shit. Really, <laughs> I am not a crook. <laughs> oh, I said I'm having fun. Because uh, you wake up in the middle of the night wondering why, why am I stuck with all these pussies, Jesus? <laughs> I'm not talking to Jesus. They're all talking to Jesus. Why? Well, because they got universities. <laughs> People give them money. Andrew Womack, good Lord, pounding on this wall. How do I make more money off these stupid-ass bitches? Oh, my lightning quick mindset. Come up with some bullshit and put it on my line, sell another book. And Oh, well, same way you always do. Just got to come up with better material. Why? Because I've been filling them the same material for like five years now. I got to come up with something new. Attack the homosexuals. Yes, I will attack the homosexuals. Attack Barack Obama. Well, what if he doesn't get reelected? <laughs> That's really going to cut into my profits. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, those bigots just love hateful books about Negroes in the White House. <laughs> big money. Big money. <laughs> Help me. I'm on a roll. Nah, I ain't gonna post those ones to famous people and shit anymore like that. I'm just gonna attack all these assholes that sit around like pussies and do nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Hey, your name's in the book. It's cataloged. It's at Fort Huachuca. It's in the Library of Congress shit. It'll, it'll still be there once we get all this illegit shit out the way and everything like that. Your name will be in the book. Some say it's just a part of it. We've got to fulfill the book. If you can't show your ass up, in a courageous manner, you write the pussy pages. Smells like what? That's what I thought. No, Ralph, you just have to be patient. Okay. That girl being raped over there in Mexico. Baby girl, what? Just be patient. They coming. So is he. I'm sorry. That's a graphic, disgusting picture. Oh, you want me to paint it for them so they can see it. He's making you swallow it. Oh, that's disgusting. He's a f fucking ugly, stanky-ass fucking... Oh, like them. Thank you. He's now nutless. You ripped his balls off. That's my girl. They're going to kill you, baby. I'm sorry. You got one of them. I love you. Hang in there. They are being screwed by vicious and maniacal men. It's putting vicious, maniacal DNA in them. They're actually being doing a favor then if they're killed and put in a mass grave because their soul has been given relief from this vicious and maniacal existence that they're forced to live. This is just basic molecular DNA exchange science, y'all. We're doing them a favor. They've become maniacal, vicious people. Let's call them all out into the street and have the buildings fall in them, and they won't have to suffer living off of mud pies anymore. Oh, thank you, Andrew. And thank you to the rest of the televangelist preachers doing us all a service by taking these bad souls and eliminating them from the whole program so we can have a better world, a better country, and a better working society and that we have a more higher level functioning planet. 
we'll go on to the next sci-fi crazy Ralph answers and not answers and solutions to not solutions and more problems being built by more fucked up people. Next, peace.